The right to bear arms in Europe for a few and under strict conditions. Car makers and vehicle emissions in the spotlight again. And the world after Brexit. Somehow life moves on, it just does. Welcome to the agenda. Gun control, and you may naturally think of the United States and the frequent death of citizens there. Here in Europe, gun control is of an entirely different order, but regulation is still vital. On Wednesday, Parliament's Internal Market Committee will vote on amendments to propose revisions of the EU Firearms Directive, tightening and clarifying the rules under which citizens can acquire guns and rifles, including who precisely and what for, effective deactivation of weapons and information exchange. Big days for two of Europe's big car makers, Volkswagen and Renault. They're coming for a hearing to Parliament's Emissions Committee and will be joined by Japan's Mitsubishi. Thoughts are bound to turn to VW's diesel emissions fixing scandal, but also to the way forward through more rigorous emissions testing. There'll be a vote on the interim report on the inquiry into measuring systems in the car sector. Talking of emissions, it's all about the air we breathe. It's reckoned 400,000 Europeans die prematurely every year from illnesses related to poor air quality. More ambitious national caps by 2030 are in the pipeline, controlling pollutants, much of which come from cars. Parliament's Environment Committee will vote on measures agreed recently with member states. Not enough of a revolution, say many MEPs, but improvements nonetheless. And now for some other items on the parliamentary agenda. How to counteract anti-EU propaganda from third countries. Think Russia here, for example. Members of the Foreign Affairs Committee will consider ways within the EU's communication strategy on Monday. There's a vote on Tuesday. There'll be a parade of Slovak ministers during the week starting Tuesday, presenting their priorities for the six-month EU rotating presidency, which has just started. Not least the big informal summit in Bratislava in September on the EU post-Brexit. Members of the Transport Committee meet to vote on three key elements of the fourth railway package, transforming, it's hoped, Europe's rail network. It follows negotiations with member states, including opening markets to create an EU-wide railway area. From COP21 to COP22, climate conferences of course, the most recent in Paris, the next in Morocco in November. On Monday, Environment Committee members will meet to discuss Parliament's position on advancing the CO2 reduction targets from Paris. And finally, where next for the Eurozone after Brexit? There were big expectations that the Euro would take a dive following Britain's referendum decision to leave the EU. In the event, the Euro remained stable and the British pound took the dive. There have been discussions about a tighter Eurozone, including a budget. On Monday, finance ministers from six countries will arrive to discuss the desirability or advisability of a Eurozone budget to buffer the euro against shock. And that's it for some of the highlights in Parliament's coming agenda. Enjoy the week.